We're here today, debbieschlossel.com, interviewing Rayford Jackson. Now, Mr. Jackson, just to give some background, you pleaded guilty recently to conspiracy to commit bribery, and in January, you're going to start serving five years in federal prison. But you've never given any interviews until the last couple of weeks. Why is that? Oh, just because of the recent allegations and accusations that Fanch and Stinger had made. You know, so and who I is Fanch and Stinger? She's an ex Fox 2 News anchor woman. And what is your relationship with Fanch and Stinger? Or was your relationship with Fanch and Stinger? We had a relationship. And when did that begin? In um, 2003. Um, in, in 2003, were you still platonic friends, or was that when the romantic relationship began? The romantic relationship began. And at that time, was she working at Fox 2 News? Yes. And did that compromise, in your opinion, her news coverage at Fox 2? Not to me at that time, because when I met her, she was doing events for me. She was doing events for you. Yeah, Can she you was emceeing. Like I did an event at Comerica Park, and I got an MC there. <clears throat> I got um, she was to a spokesperson for CVS Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. um, she was working with the NAACP and the Freedom Institute on their um, Freedom Weekend that they have. <clears throat> and so, and then and so those are things she did some groundbreaking ceremonies for me for some development projects that I was involved with. <laughs> uh, so she hosted groundbreaking ceremonies for real mm -hmm. estate. Mm -hmm. MC them. Um, in 2004, there was the Bush Cheney re-election campaign. And I did a little digging, a little checking, and I found that both you and Fanch and Stinger, within days of each other, um, gave $2,000 a piece to the Bush Cheney 2004 campaign. How did that come about? Are you a Republican? No, but a friend of mine, <clears throat> his name Tom Cato, he was helping to organize Bush coming here, and he asked me would I donate. Mm -hmm. And you can only donate a maximum of $2,000. And so <clears throat> I paid the 2000 and then at that time, Fangin, you know, paid the 2000 She didn't tell me until afterwards that she thought that that may be a conflict with her job because she's not supposed to be contributing to any political campaign. And at this time, she was already anchoring the Fox 2 morning show. I don't know if she was anchoring then, was she? Yes. Okay. And she was covering as part of her duties, the Fox, the, the uh, Bush Cheney re-election campaign. Um, and did she said that she thought it was a conflict to you? After she didn't tell me she was covering it. Did did she? Did you have anything to do with her contribution to the Bush Cheney campaign? It, it's just it's odd that within days of your contribution, she also con contributed. Um, I have the I have the records and. She gave, um, on January 30th of 2004, she gave $2,000. And that was nine days after January 21st, 2004, when you gave 2000 to the Bush Cheney campaign. So I'm assuming there is some kind of relationship to, that, to, to your contribution. Did she, was she there when Mr. Cato solicited your contribution? Mm. I don't know, but it was my money. So she gave your money, $2,000. Yes. $2, okay, um, and that's the only political contribution she's given. Uh, but I also noticed that you gave $1,000 to Congressman Joe Nolenberg. And again, I ask, are you a Republican or what? what's behind that? No, it was a partner of mine I, that I was working with and he was supporting um, Congressman Nolenberg. And who is that? Gary Sackwa. Gary Sakwa from Grand Sakwa. Yes. Interesting. Um, and then I look at the other uh, contributions you gave Hillary Clinton, 
Senate campaign in 2000, <laughs> Debbie Stabenow's campaign in 2000, and Harold Ford Senate campaign in, in 2005. And Harold Ford returned your contribution. Do you know anything about that or why that happened? His listed that he took in the contribution on December 13, 2005, and then that he gave it back. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't remember that. Okay. Um, so Fanchon Stinger gave the contribution. It was your money um, while she was working at Fox 2, and I believe she was the anchor at that time. Um, but I know for certain she was the anchor in 2005, on October 15, 2005, when she interviewed the minister, Louis Farrakhan, of the Nation of Islam. Can you tell me how you put, put that together, that interview? Um, I just asked her, because with, um, that was the 10th anniversary to the Million Man March, mm -hmm. and Minister Farrakhan was doing a tour, mm -hmm. as he did for the Million Man March. And in every market that he went into, of course, he was open to interviews, whether it was print media, or TV, or radio. And so I asked her, would she interview him on the morning show? And she said yes. And did she, she had to get it clear. She said she had to get it clear. Uh, did, do you believe she told anybody that she was dating you at that time? No. And aren't you a prominent member of the Nation of Islam? I don't know about prominent, <laughs> well, but I am a member of the Nation of Islam. Okay, and and you're pretty close with Minister Farrakhan. Um, maybe just as anybody who's worked, you know, I did a lot of work with the Nation of Islam, well, I helping have, them every time they were coming to this market. Okay, so you were helping him any time they came into the market? You yes. Said, okay, I have an article from the Final Call, which is the Nation of Islam newspaper from. October 23rd, 2006. So this is a little more than a year after Fanchon did her interview with Louis Farrakhan. And it talks about the 11th anniversary commemoration of the Million Man March and a Holy Day of Atonement, which is October 15th. Um, and it says that you were in attendance in Chicago as one of the leaders of the Nation of Islam. Um, and it it talks about your, it mentions your company. So I think, wouldn't wouldn't it be fair to say that you are one of the top people? No. I mean, the nation has a structure where they have in every market a minister, mm -hmm. a secretary, and captains, whether it's a brother captain and a sister captain. Then they have a director of protocol. Mm -hmm. Those are what you call laborers. So in, those are like the representatives in every local market and those are what you call laborers or officials support staff I've never held an office within the nation of Islam in a leadership position but you were in attendance at this meeting yes. in Chicago along with some pretty top people in Islam Imam Warith Dean Muhammad WD Muhammad the Muslim American Society uh, I mean there are a number of people listed here the Venezuelan Consul General. These were pretty important people in whose company you were um, at this event. Um, when Fanchon Stinger did that interview on October 15, 2005, and you said that you don't believe she shared with Fox 2 News officials that she had a relationship with you at that time, um, did she have any parameters from you? Did you tell her how to conduct the interview or what she could and couldn't ask. No. It was a fairly friendly interview. Um, do you know the reason for that? It, it wasn't a, it wasn't what would normally be a critical interview, which typically happens with, with Minister Farrakhan. I mean, even Al Jazeera was tougher on him. Um, did she ask you for any guidance on the interview or? tell you how she was going to conduct the interview? No. But you put it And together. I don't think that Fanchon's style has ever been a hard line style. I mean, I've seen other interviews that she had done, and um, I just that's just not her personality. That wasn't her style.